it's recording day two. Ben's here. Say hi, Ben. He said hi, Ben. <laughs> yeah. So real quick, I wanna talk about two things. First, some of you are asking me to do a video about how to chart a song, so I will. And the second thing is, what we've been doing today and yesterday is recording scratch tracks for the song. So charting the songs and then recording a guitar vocal to a click. And then probably those are gonna be replaced later because some of the songs won't even make it. The others, I'll probably, after listening to it, want to change some things, change the way I played it, or just play it better, or something. But, there's always the chance that I'll use the scratch tracks in the actual final version. And that's why, and Ben and I were talking about this yesterday, if you're gonna do this approach where you record some raw scratch stuff to then replace later, take an extra few minutes and make sure the scratch tracks sound good, because if they're fine and the performance is perfect and the only th difference is you forgot to mic it properly, then you have to re-record it. Versus if two weeks from now I'm to a point where I say, you know what, that fingerstyle guitar that I showed you yesterday, I, I'm not gonna play it any better than that. Let's use it in the final. We can because I took the time to set up good mics and put in good preamp and all that stuff. Okay, we're gonna chart the song. I think it's called To Love You. And what I'm gonna do is just Literally sit with the guitar, play the chords and chart it out, and this will give you my map to record everything. And um, it just really, 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 really brief overview of how Nashville numbers work. It's essentially every number by itself is a bar, okay? And then the number corresponds to this, the, if there's seven notes in a scale, then the number corresponds to that note as a chord. So one, we're in the key of E, one is E, four is A, five is B. What else do we have? We have six is C sharp minor, six with a dash means minor, and one over three is E over G sharp. Those are the only chords I think I play in this whole song. So it should be fairly easy to follow along, but you'll see kind of how, how this works and we'll just, we'll just run through it. So the song starts, this is kind of a slow jam. E over G sharp, A. So if it's in 4-4, four, four, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the 1, the first two chords are split over a bar, so we're gonna put a parenthesis, 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 parenthesis. parenthesis. Is the first one a parenthesis? Sure, it is. Is parenthesis even a word? Uh -huh. I feel like a parenthesis. <laughs> Dad joke. Um, okay, so the first chord is a one, and then the second chord is a one over three, and we put that in parenthesis because. <laughs> okay. I gotta come up with a new word. Put it in brackets because it's it's not one bar. If we put a one by itself, then I would know to play a one for a full bar, but that's not the case. So when you see it like this, you're just splitting that bar into two chords. So two beats on one, two beats on one over three, and then we're going a full bar on four. And then we lather, rinse, and repeat. Okay? You might be able to see that a little better if I zoom in. And I think I'm just doing that once. And as you can see, I skipped the one over three because I'm not sure I want it every time, but we'll see. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the verse there. So the verse is just, I'm looking at my lyrics. Just one, four, one, four. The first two lines of the lyric. Chord. 
course. So what's happening there? So that's just another one four. What I'll do is if I have four measures, I'll give it a little space. Just otherwise it becomes one big list of numbers and then I freak out. So a little space. So we got one four. Then what's happening after that? So it's going from one E to E over G sharp to A to B, and it's happening every two beats, which means these next two bars are gonna both be in parentheses. I'm freaking out every time I say that now. So, bum, 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 bum. So that, this phrase here will go like this. course we're back to I think we're back to exact same thing as the intro and the turnaround It's kind of odd, it does it three times. So we go that, back to that four five split bar, and we're back to a turnaround, which I just put TA for turnaround, which would be. pretty repetitive. I'm going to do just two bars of turnaround and get right back into verse two. I can always change that later, but I think that feels right. So verse two will be the same as verse one. Now we're just doing the old fashioned version of copying and pasting. And the bridge, you're waiting for it to resolve to the one and it doesn't. Classic bridge, we're going to go to the six minor. That's just going real easy to chart. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. So six, five, four, one. Then we repeat it. Seems like it's walking down, go back to the five, and then a down chorus. So we'll just do the outro. We'll do it a little longer, let it groove. 14, 14, 14, 14, one. And then a diamond just means play it like, and let it ring out. You can put a fermata, is that the right? Yeah, the, the eyeball looking thing. And that's it. Song charted. Time to record. Ben thinks he's here for music, but I'm about to introduce him to something very Nashville. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> it's good stuff. How do you feel? Feeling good. Good day, Ben pretty much ran the show today and I didn't take the laptop back in the tracking room at all. 
Um, so he ran everything out here. And he was saying that he wanted to be fast. And I was like, being fast is really cool if you can get fast in the studio. Uh, because musicians, once they're ready to go, if you can get it back to them faster, they're not expecting that. And it's super nice. So they mess up a vocal and you say, hey, can I get that again? And you're just burr, 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 right there. Fast is a good thing to aim for. It is 10.37 on Friday night. Pop down to the studio to export all the songs we did today so I can live with them over the weekend and have some direction to where I want to go next with them come next week. It was a good day. We ended up recording three more songs. So I have a total of seven, and we actually fleshed out some guitars on a few, triple tracked guitar on a few songs, which if you've never done that, it's kind of fun. One up the middle, two on the sides really big and full, especially for acoustic projects like this. That's gonna be good. Tonight, I took Owen to another birthday party, this time at a trampoline park. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty awesome. But I'm gonna end the episode here, get these songs exported so I can put them on my phone and listen over the weekend. See ya. Real quick, <laughs> this is why we make music. Um, these songs I've written, and you'll see these in Songwriting Corner, anyway, they're, they're a little more, I've written a lot of introspective stuff, and these are a little more kind of singing to people. Maybe people in sp specifically or people in general that also sings to me. Um, but this one, <laughs> this one I just was bouncing down, um, it, it made me tear up, it made me stop. I'm just, I'm, do, I'm EQing, I'm setting levels, I'm setting a compressor, and it, it stopped me. And it made me think of the story that had me write the song, and, and the details don't even really matter, but the, the chorus goes, I wish you would sing, I wish you would sing, I wish you would tell, the story that only you can tell, and you tell it so well. And, and the idea of, I don't want everyone to be a singer, but that idea of singing and you've got something in you that the world needs to hear, whether that's through music, through the way you produce music, or through a story, or through you going on an adventure that you're scared to death of going on, we need you to sing. Story that only you can tell, and you tell it so well.